Alright, hi guys! So welcome to my very first YouTube video. I hope all of you are well and safe and then staying at home and staying positive. Okay, so the reason why this is my first ever like this is why I came to make a, a decision to make a, a like a YouTube video because I'm so bored at home and I bought a lot of stuff and I missed the makeup and I just want to do something productive so this is one of the best decisions I've made to be productive and so here I am so yeah guys so today it's just gonna be a get to know me kind of Q&A plus just sit down to chat kind of video so I hope you guys enjoy and keep on watching Alright, so first and foremost, I'd just like to introduce you my name and like the, just the basic the surface of me. <laughs> so yeah, my name is um, Akila and usually I don't put Akila on my socials because I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, it's just not, it doesn't sound like a statement name. I don't know, it maybe just me. So I, um, I put Bad Ladybugs. It's just a name where I just made it up, like practically just a stage name. So I got so used to that name that every of my socials I just um, put that name on, Bell Ladybugs, because I feel like it's I don't know, it just sounds and appear more professional or more nicer. Yeah, that's that's just me. So. Yeah, but people who doesn't know me, they'll just call me um, Bella or Belle. So I don't mind. It's just that it's kind of weird to just put Akila Zahari on my socials. I'm 23 and I do, I do like lots of creative things. I do designs, I do graphic designs, I do henna and I'm a henna artist. So I'm a freelance henna artist. So um, I do henna once in a while, or maybe if someone wants some henna, I just do for them. I really love what I do, and I'm a, I'm a actually a full time student. So yeah, so I'm pretty I'm a pretty creative person. I would say I love doing henna. I love painting. I love drawing. I love graphic designing. There's a lot of things I don't like, but these are one of the things, a few things that I really really love doing. I'm not so good at makeup, so I, yeah, like, I don't really go on a professional learning for makeup. I don't go to school for makeup. I just wing it, you know, like even my eyeliner, I just wing it. <laughs> I just practice with my hands and just makeup. I just see tutorials and then I just watch and I just follow. So that's basically me. For this makeup and all my future makeups that you're gonna see. I'm probably not going to wear um, falsies because I'm not a falsies person, you know? That's me. <laughs> anyway, okay, I pose a few questions. I mean, I post a question poll or questions on Instagram for you guys to like tell me any questions or ask me any questions for this video. So some of your answers, I mean like, I don't have much followers so if you guys want to ask me more questions you can just like um ask me on the the comment down below you know the comment section yeah <laughs> okay so i've written in a book because i'm using my phone to record first question so cute so first question from um brett but ella which is ella hi <laughs> she's so cute okay you um she said she asked me what's your go-to fashion and skincare or makeup brands. Hmm. Okay, my go-to fashion brands would be I love shopping at Zara. Mm, recently, I do tons of online shopping, so stay tuned for an unboxing video, guys. Yeah, I love shopping at Zara. Basically, I'm really really comfortable um shopping at Zara because some of their quality are good, some of their quality are really bad. So you really need to um see what materials and yeah when what kind of like style is it you know materials are really really important to me and yeah and i tried shopping at some other new brands new startup brands and i feel like i still need to go back to zara because i feel zara has the best quality 
on the things usually on the clothing and the styles that I I personally personally love. I got introduced to Zara and I see a lot of a lot of their styles um are like kind of my style and they evolved through the years and I also evolved my style through the years and now they've been like coming out with tons and tons and lots of really nice pieces and really good quality ones. When I do shop, I shop all out like I shop for the whole year yeah and then yeah that's how I shop usually okay so she asked skincare and makeup brands right so for skincare I like to just um use this La Roche Posay um thermal spring water just to um calm my skin and it does wonders it's super cooling I mean I just love to do like I just love this product Makeup brands, um, I try using like more dewy foundations which like now I just um, try this Ordinary This Ordinary, um, the coverage foundation is quite dewy but I just love the coverage like do you see my face? I didn't even apply any concealer I don't usually like concealer because I feel foundation is um, really really enough on my face and I don't need any more, I don't want to pile up any more makeup on my face so I just love um, The Ordinary. This is one of the first first few dewy foundations I ever tried. I've recently like bought this um, eyeshadow. It's their Fiery Eyeshadow. So I paid this for $10. It was, it was £5. Pounds. £5 pounds for 6 um, shades. Okay. It's really good. This shade is on my eyes right now and I use the lightest colors like these colors like these colors it's really bomb it makes it has like you know it has payoff you know it has color payoff the next question will be um from IU hi IU so um a underscore m h d x she asked uh, when do you realize you love doing henna and how where when did you learn or master henna so basically, as you guys know, I, um, I'm a henna artist, a freelance henna artist. I've been doing henna for maybe five years now. Okay, when I started doing henna, I just wing it. I just do it. I don't practice. I just do it, you know. Like, I bought the henna, I put it in my hand, I see the picture, I just draw it out. Like, that's me. So, when I figured that, when I found out that I can actually just, like, draw, draw, draw it by henna, by looking at the picture, I was shook. So I just went for it. I keep practicing and practicing. So my first um henna design was a uh peacock feather. Yeah. And I really struggled for the first few times, you know. And then I started practicing, practicing. I used more henna, use more different type of henna. Use the the instant one, the natural one. You're really working with the texture and you're really feeling with your hand, you know. So different textures have different kind of like grip to it. Basically, just keep practicing. Then when you hit, when I when when I hit like two thousand eighteen, then people um started the hype of like they started the hype of the jaguar jaguar henna, the jaguar um jaguar tattoo, the the blue color ink that stains your skin. Basically, they come from a jaguar fruit jaguar gel. It's actually a different type of like texture to it. So I have to relearn it and re. Um, we adjust myself to the the tube and the this consistency of the the product itself. So yeah, and I just practice. So from from two thousand eighteen, I got like my skills got better and better and better. It, it improved each year and each year. And so yeah, I just started doing um more um, tattoo designs. We actually I started when I started henna. I actually um started doing from tattoo designs because I wanted tattoo so much. Yeah, that's how I started doing henna and how I master henna. Just keep practicing. If you're if you're someone who just started henna, just take my advice and just keep practicing. Practice um as much different types of henna as you can. The traditional henna, the jaguar gel, and the instant henna, and white henna maybe because all of them have different consistency and different grip to it. So yeah, just keep practicing. What's your favorite spot? So my favorite spot is, uh, you know, now I'm 23. I don't really like to work out or like take up a spot. I'm just 
I don't know, I just grown to be like a a snail. <laughs> My favorite spot like years ago and I was still like young, 17 years old. I usually love to I usually love compet competitive sports like netball, mm, gymnastics. I really love gymnastics. Like bending your bones, I love them. Like mm, I really hate running because when I was in secondary school, I took up track and field. I don't know why I do that, but I really hate running. I, I couldn't run like for for far distance. I could not do it. So I don't know why I took that as well, but it really helped me to lose weight. Uh, basically, it's my whole body weight is gone. So yeah, like I really, but I really love gymnastics. I took them gymnastics when I was like in primary school. I really, really love it. I still have my competition leotard in my drawer because it's just good memories, you know. So yeah, that's my favorite sports. Like, but as for now, I just really want to like lose all my water weight and just my weight, basically. Because I've gained some, you know, over the years, you know. <laughs> I was one of those, like, wee singles. Then when I started to, like, um, you know, get into relationships, get, uh, like, being happy, I started to, you know, be a little bit thick. So, I suddenly need to get to working out and be fit again, guys. This is my ultimate goal for this time of the year. So that is all my the questions that's asked. Okay, if, if you guys have any questions, you just let me know. Just comment it down below and do follow my Instagram. Please, please, please. And yeah, and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Don't forget. Okay, see you next time.